What's up guys, welcome back to AC Designs Garage and today I'm going to show you a cool little trick that I think if you're building hot rods, muscle cars and pick them up trucks, stuff like that, y'all going to use. I'm going to teach you how to drill and tap into like a flat plate, frame, chassis, whatever. Um, mainly what we use it for is running brake lines, fuel lines, you can put your little trick stainless clamps on there and you can just drill into the side of your frame, drill, tap it, just run your bolt in there and lock tighter in and you got a neat little hanger right there that you don't have to put them on rib nuts. I don't like them. I don't like the way they look. They do have replaced some places, but I like this better. So I'm going to show you how to pick your drill because if I say drill bits, some machinist guys are probably going to get mad at me. How to pick your drill size and your tap size. And we're going to do a little sample piece on a piece of 3 16 or 4.7 millimeter, whatever it is. Wow, well, like it would be on tubing or something like that. So let's get over here. I'm going to show you what we're going to use and we're going to get to drilling and tapping. Here we go. All right, guys, here's a tubing that we're going to be using today. This is a 2 by 4 3 16 wall thickness. I will say that when you're uh, doing this, be careful of like the weld joint right here where it's put together the weld seam. I wouldn't advise drilling, try to drill through the middle of that. It just seems harder where the weld is. And on the back side, you can see it a seam on it and stuff. But I'd avoid this area here. It'd be about the only one. But that's we're going to drill inside of this because this would be like, say, uh, if I'd built a full back half or something for patches here and i'm still going to go in here and uh probably in like these these are three sixteenths i think is what this cross member is we'll drill and tap these we're going to do the same thing later on in a, probably another video when i run my brake lines but to hold all the brake lines up tight and stuff so this is a real useful trick i think we've used it a ton but here's what we're going to be using i'm going to link all this stuff in the description below you can scoop this up it's uh, my Amazon affiliate link. It don't cost you guys any extra, but I do make a very small percentage off of it if y'all scoop something up. So if you want to help the channel, go down there and scoop it up or just go look, see what's in there. Today we're going to be using a 20 volt Dewalt drill. And uh, I suggest getting you one of these good drill index boxes here. The thing I really like about them is see, it tells you right here, like we're going to be doing a quarter 20 bolt, which is this. And what a quarter 20 is, if you don't know, it's a, quarter inch diameter and 20 threads per inch so this will be your national course if this was a five thread i think it's a quarter 28 so it'd be 28 threads per inch but anywho's so we're going to be doing the quarter 20 here and it says says tap size nc national course it's a 1364 so is what you want to drill for the quarter 20 if you was doing a national five thread right here you'll drop down so you got your quarter 20 you'll drill a 1364 and if you want to go to a quarter 28, you'll drill a 7.32nd. So these little drill index things are nice to have. You just open them up. We'll go ahead and grab out our, what was it, a 13, 1364. Now, I can't convert all this to metric. You might have to go visit Mr. Google to do that. But right here's our 1364. We'll go ahead and get that out and get it red eye. We'll just set that to the side so we got that. Uh, also, you're going to need some good old Luby Doobie here. This is my favorite. I've been using them for probably three or four months pretty heavily. Anchor Lube's made here in the U.S., non-hazardous water base. I've done a few videos where we've drilled on chassis, man. It keeps the drill so cool that I drilled a hole through a 3 16th frame and you can pull it out and grab it. Don't suggest doing it, but it did work for me. Now, Anchor Lube, they didn't pay me anything to say this. They just sent me some and said, here, try it out. I've been using the mess out of it. I don't even use that other stuff in that bottle down there below on my drill press anymore. This is all I use. This is like my second bottle. I've already almost went through a whole one. Yeah, scoop you up some of this. Really, 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 really good stuff. I've drilled into stainless and stuff like that, and it still saves the drill. Don't mess them up. Uh, also, you're going to need some kind of center punch here. You can use the hammer one, or you can use the hammerless one. So this spring, you just hit it down. I'll show you the different ways. Now, this is a little trick here. We're going to use all hand tools in this video. So if you want to get it, you want this thing as square and perpendicular, everything you can get to where it's going straight into this. So this is the only way I figured out a real way to do it with a hand tool. You got to have a C-clamp and a square here. And basically what we're going to do, I'll show you here in a minute. We're going to clamp this here. And as we're drilling, we're going to let it ride up against that as we're pushing down. And that'll keep everything good and square. I hope anyways. First time trying it, but I thought it'd be a good idea for you guys maybe if you don't have a drill press, like that's the ultimate way to do it, but you can't put a drill press on a car, so 
and sometimes you can't use this but you know i thought i'd try to find some quick little tips here to show you guys here's the little tap handle and this is the quarter 20 tap now this is not a pipe thread this is uh it just tapers a little bit right here and then it goes to the full thread and for all your shavings they go in these little flutes here but i'll show you how it does it kind of self-aligns till it gets up in here so as long as you get this get your whole drill pretty straight you should be good and here's another little neat thing i will link one of these too these things are awesome but if you have like this everybody has like bolts and stuff bolts and nuts it'll do either one just laying around your box you don't know what they are well, this is a quarter 20. you got this end here you can just screw it down in there and find out what it is it's got the side here for the bolt this side for the nut it's got quarter 20 quarter 28 it does all or most of the popular you know all of this one goes down to 632 832 1032 also for you metric guys it's got the old mm's too so you can get them both so up to i think half inch half 13 yeah it goes up to half 13. so if you just got them laid around in your box you don't know what they are just hang one of these on the side of your toolbox that's what i do i'll take it over here and put it back real quick but this thing comes in so much handy just hang it on a little thing like that and if you got a loose nut or bolt and you don't know what it is you can figure it out so Got the little tap handle here. It just tightens down on it with a collet. That's ready to go. We got two different little quarter 20 bolts. And I'm going to come over here, grab the old hammer, or knock a ping right here, and drill a hole. And we're going to tap it. So let me grab a couple things and get my little drill rig set up here, and we'll be ready to go. All right, I'm going to show you real quick on the different ways. These here will give you a lot deeper hit. And basically what this center punch does it just gives you a, a place for your drill to start because if, if you don't get a good dimple, drills will tend to want to walk around. So you want a little dinger right where you want it. So I'm going to say we're going to put this one, I'm going to say just right here. And what you're going to want to do is give her a good whack, but don't hit your hands because it does hurt. Pull it like that and just get you a good ping like that. Right there, it gives you a little pinger. Now I'll come back here with my spring loaded one. These work okay we'll just come over here and put one near it so this is just a scrap piece of tube and what i do with them i like to give a two pinger now it does okay but it's not as uh good as the one you hit with the hammer so we're going to use the, the hit with the hammer ones though yeah i just want to show you those real quick that does work really good but on aluminum and stuff like these here work really good sheet metal they they do okay for these this one here's got a lot of mileage on it though oh what was that you want to know where you can get these shirts i'm glad you asked so head on over to www.acdesignsgarage.com and scoop you one up before they're all gone All right, guys, I'm going to try to get my little thing of bob here. I'm going to go ahead and chuck up the drill in here. Get her chucked down good. So what I'm going to do when I'm doing this, I'm going to go ahead and center it in my hole there we punched. You can see it don't want to walk around. And basically what I want to do is I want to get this about where it's going to be so we can use it as a guide. And uh, I'm going to clamp her on down. So I can get that out of the way. Now you got to be careful. These things are cast. If you come up, you guys may come up with a better solution to this, but I'm going to clamp it. I'm going to make sure I get out of this, but we're not going to put a lot on it because it will bust these things. So we're going to get her on up here like so. And just put just enough that it won't move. But now you guys can see we'll line it up here in our hole and just lean her up like that. And as long as it's touching on both of these points, actually, I need to tap it back just a, just a tip. Like we're that precise around here. It's hard to get both angles just right, so we're going to have to, you know, we got one here locked down, so you can look this way and check and see if you're this way or wonky or out of the way or whatever, but I think that's going to work pretty good. I've never tried this before. We'll just try to keep her centered like that. I'm just going to put... Now, I'm not drilling this without my good old anchor lube. I'm just going to get a, a good hole started. Then we're going to pull it back and put the lube in it. 
and we're going to drill it pretty slow. This thing has a first gear and a second gear here. It's better off, the bigger drills you go, you need to go slower, but the one, you know, we're just trying to keep these drills last as long as we can. So we're going to put us a little divot here. Got the divot. We'll put us a little toothpaste on here. That's what it looks like to me. Cool thing is, the stuff don't smoke, don't stink, none of that stuff. Pretty good, that didn't take long for the 316s. I wanna show you guys how cool this stuff is. I mean, these shavings, and this stuff don't leave old oil residue like some of the other stuff does. You can just wipe it off, but this stuff's not even warm. I mean, it's... All right, guys, I will have to say that I think did pretty daggone good with this little contraption. Now, we're not gonna be able to use it on the, the tap as good. But since we drilled it pretty straight, we'll just kind of eyeball this thing up here and just try to let her go down as straight as possible. We'll get this out the way. But it did work pretty good. If you have any trouble with trying to do that stuff, if you're a beginner at this, everybody starts at the beginning, guys. Nobody starts with all this knowledge of me to do stuff, but I just like to come up with neat little things. I may use this sometime, too. It worked for me. Now I'm gonna use what they call like a chamfer bit. And basically all it does is it just knocks the shoulders back a little bit and helps the tap. And we can probably just do it by hand. Or if you got a D, it's basically like a D burr is all it is. Puts a nice little chamfer on it here and gets the burrs off. Take this thing and clean that out. So now we got a good, good hole in the side of our chassis. So, we're going to take our quarter 20. We're going to put a little lube-doob on it and get her all earled up real good with the anchor lube. We're just going to try to keep this thing straight up and down as it can be and get her started. Now, don't force this stuff. Because these things are hard and they will break and you probably ain't going to drill them out. So I run a little bit in and back off. And what it does is it'll move the chips into the flutes here instead of it just getting in the way. You don't want to put a whole lot of tension. I do like a round like that. Back off and it'll clear out. You'll notice how it'll go down a little bit more and get tight. Back off. Run back down so on and so forth uh i've saw a lot of guys put these in those uh dewalts i wouldn't advise it you can i mean it's your it's your stuff but i say be a little patient i think they actually make a drill tap i've never used them but i don't know slow and steady wins the race i've learned a long time ago building hot rods and bodywork stuff take your time it'll save you time in the long run if you take your time especially if you gotta redo junk over and over Well, guys, I think we've made it through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run it down, pull it back out, and uh, may wipe the tap off. I'll show you here real quick. It'll have stuff down the flutes. That's why you back it off. It just it cleans the threads out. If you try to force this stuff, it'll just cause you all kind of trouble. But see how boogered up that stuff gets. It gets full of it. So I'm going to wipe this out real quick, and I may put some more lube on it just run down in there. Then we'll take some brake clean or something, clean that out, blow it out, run a screw down in it, and call her a day. Probably going to use some of the O'Reilly stuff here and just clean that tap out. Gently just spray it down the flutes and it'll wash all the metal out of it. I'm sure there's probably a proper way, but you can see all that garbage in there. 
proper way to do this. Got one more to do. Look at that. Good to go. Wipe this off. Look at that. No oily residue whatsoever. So now we're going to clean the threads out. The old brake clean. And I'm going to do it one more time. I'm just going to run her down through there. Just to clean any any threads out. There's any boogers in there or anything and that seems to be pretty near good. Clean it out one more time and yeah like I said before I watch around on them welds and stuff like that because every time you tend to weld something it cools off or the way they weld together and stuff it gets pretty hard right in that area, and I don't know if you have any trouble. I've had trouble sometimes with drill bits walking and stuff like that when you drill drill over top of the welds. Yeah, it looks pretty near good. Well, like I said, I like this stuff, especially being a painter, it being water-based. It cleans up really good. Yep. Looks brand new. We didn't break nothing. Good day when I don't break nothing. All right, let's test her and see how she does. There you go, guys. Check that out. We'll run this other little one in. When they run in and out like that, like I said, follow that chart on there. You can get a chart online also. Probably just a Google tap size, drill size, tap size, and it'll give you everything. But. Alright, this is all I can find laying around. This is one of them uh, gas shock holders off the of HHR. Just showing you if you had to bolt something to it. We'll just use one of these old Carolina socket sets here. Get her snug down. Ready to go. Instant gratification. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Hope this helps you. Like I said, I I wouldn't go any less than three millimeter, whatever eighth inch is, to give enough threads. I'll uh, get you down here closer so you can see it. Yeah, check out them clean threads right there. I mean, that thing's nice. Wee. Run her down by hand. She sets down real good. Now look at there. Now don't that look so much better than one of them rib nuts? And we ain't got to worry about that coming out. All right, guys. Hope you all enjoyed that quick little video on how to drill and tap anywhere you want to. You might need to put a bracket, motor mount, whatever you need to do. Now you guys have the power to do it. Super easy. Like I said, link all the stuff in the description below. Also, these rad t-shirts if you want to support the channel. This is the only place you can get them is at www.acdesignersgarage.com. I hope you guys have a very merry and safe Christmas. And remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. Be kind to one another. Jesus loves you, so do we. God bless. We gone.